anointing is empowering The kingdom of the Lord is within me And He's calling me Happy New Year and thank you for joining us for Let the Prophet Speak. This week's broadcast is featuring a prophecy to Drs. David and Burnett Rozier from Master Prophet E. Bernard Jordan and his company of prophets. Prophet Burnett Rozier traveled to New York City during her time of sabbatical, and during an Elijah moment, this prophecy from Prophet E. Bernard Jordan brought life to her. Prophet E. Bernard Jordan is a master prophet with over 30 years in ministry. He is the founder of Zoe Ministries and the host of the Power of Prophecy broadcast. Watch, enjoy, and join us again next week for Let the Prophet Speak. I have to pass and decide, was it worth it? Or how much was it worth it? But all those that you have sown into, the Lord says, shall come back. And yes, the harvest is white. God says, I'm getting ready to send in the laborers to assist you. But the word is in your mouth where you go next. Where do you want to go next? Because even when there was a whole lot of people before, you only had each other. And now that a lot of people are gone, you only have each other. But God says they're going to come in by the droves and they're going to bless you and lay at your feet what you say you'd like to do next. For God says your heart is on fire to do more, not of the same. But God, I still have more to do. Which way do I go? But God says I'm going to pour oil upon your feet and cause it to be hot. Even in the night season, you're going to feel the fire in your feet. The Lord says, I'm giving you new breath. I'm giving you new life in this season. But you're just going to speak to those and delegate to those, manage those. Because they're coming saying, how can I be of service? I want to serve you. And they shall come and they shall come and they shall come. And when they come, they're not coming empty handed nor empty minded. But they're coming for a purpose that I'm sending them to. For your second part of ministry shall be greater than the beginning. And God says, but you will not use your back. Not this time. Use the wisdom that I've given you. For I poured wisdom in you. And God says, yes, you did look back. You did think about, I, I, did I, what did I do? But God says, look forward. For you are the eyes. You are the seer. And God says, open up your mouth, prophetess. For you shall speak in this season. And God says you'll speak the word. And when the word goes forth, it shall produce. Don't second guess your own word. For I put it in you. And this is the season for the word to come forth. And that is the word of the Lord. Heard the Lord saying this season, the Lord said he's doing a healing in both of your bodies. The Lord said he's healing you from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. The Lord said you're going to be walking. There's going to be a lot of work that you're going to be doing. And you're going to be walking around in your community and building and in this season. You're going to be working with women. I hear the word of the Lord saying, and that's you're beautiful as you are. The Lord said he's going to teach you how you're going to teach women how to be bringing the beauty from within outward. Because there's a lot of women that are suffering in your community in this season. And also the men. I hear the word of the Lord say you're going to be working with the men. And you're going to bring forth and teach them how to take care of their beautiful women. And stop stomping on them in this season. You know it and you feel it and you see it. And you always say, Lord, I want to change it. Lord said he's given you this opportunity to do so. Because you're going to walk in that this season. Lord said this is going to be a new year. And you two are going to embrace each other. And everybody is going to see the change and the transformation that has come upon you in this season. And that is the word of the Lord. And so the foundation has been laid and God says this is the dawn of a new day. And there are sons and daughters that are returning home. Even to that space. For their new assignment. And I hear the Lord says that there is one that has been 
as to the set of Joshua who poured the water on the hands uh, Elisha that poured the, the, the water on the hands of Elijah God says that support help is coming back to you and these are going to be the days that you're going to begin to see that the curriculums that are essential that are part of the training system is going to be fully in space and the teachers and the administrators are coming together to bring all of these parts together great is a new day that is set upon you in the foundation now you're getting ready to live in the expansion so the lord said expand yourself southward southward i give you expansion and i begin to say lord southward where he said i will give you land that will bring you in a southern territory that will enable you to do some magnificent things and to leave a major legacy on hand your voice will be heard not just in the states but your voice is getting ready to be amplified in the world at large because the lord says there's a word in you that will be spoken into generation and into cultures get ready for your standing now in the season called the expansion into a new generation and that's the word of the lord and i hear the word the lord comes to me saying this shall be days and seasons of new opportunity that yea, you both shall begin to encounter and enter into. So even there I say, drink. Drink of my spirit, saith the Lord. Drink of the new wine that I shall pour so that you will thirst no more. Drink of the waters of the spirit, for I shall bathe thee both, saith the Lord. Because I call thee, yea, even here, yea, for such a time so that you will begin to see and to know and to understand. I brought you both here for new ideas and new strategies. For this shall be days of increase, not decrease. These shall be days where I shall begin to blow your mind wide. And you shall be open vessels for my glory. For there shall be days and seasons. I see you calling together the sons and daughters. And there's a new impartation. And there's an impartation impartation of the new wine that shall be poured in God's house in my house said the Lord man and woman of God these are days where I will endue thee with great power and great strength for you shall have understanding of the times and the season that you're in and you shall excel said the Lord but I bring thee into days of laughter and joy but I say dance with me but it's a new song, it's a new dance. But I hold thee both by my embrace. And you shall know without a doubt that this is me. And I'm the one that is driving this ship and is in the control. Because I'm leading and I'm guiding. Prepare your heart, for I'm filling thee unto overflow. A season and days of drinking until you want or thirst no more and that is the word of the Lord now the Lord is going to have you to recover what has appeared to be lost this he speaks of his real estate property there'll be some renegotiating with a bank it's just going to open up as a conversation There are some things that have appeared to be regret, which has been a blessing in disguise. And it's a letting go of some works because of new works that are about to be created. I saw the school, but I saw the school taking on a different kind of a mandate. I saw a school that was taking on the training for leaderships to go out into a new world and not just a church world. A school for academia, for business, and something is going to change in technology around you in the next, within the next six years. Now,
concerning this whole holistic clinic, I don't know what this is all about, but something's going to open up in terms of holistic help, ministering to the whole man. But I'm looking at something because I'm hearing some discussion about alternative medicine. And God's going to put you in the circle of right people that is going to be a bridge into that. And it's going to be like you've come to the kingdom for such a time as this. The daycare is going to be reopened. Don't know what that's all about. And this time, it's like I've seen three women and a man, and a man that's going to be key of making this thing happen. One is going to be a retired principal of a school. I don't know if you've met them yet. They're going to be instrumental because you're going to do something with language in the early years. And there's going to be this temptation to say, we can take this all the way up into these, you know, first grade, second grade, third grade. And the Lord says that will not be the route that you'll need to go this round. Because I'm preparing you for a higher education of learning to prepare people to go out into a new world, saith the Lord. The Lord says, get your passports ready. Y'all are going to be traveling. I heard French-speaking countries. I heard France. There's going to be connections around French-speaking people. That's going to be a doorway into Africa once again. The Lord's going to do something major in both of your health for this year and next year to condition you. The Lord is working with you, man of God, around your heart. And I saw him touching in the chest area here. And Eba Shata. And the Lord says if you would heed the instructions in which the plan he'll give you, he said he will add decades to your life if you're willing to take that plan, saith the Lord. The Lord says also, um, let your children go. They'll be back on board, but they'll make the next train. Because this train is going to pull out without them. And they'll catch up on the next one, because I'm going to give you sons and daughters that you don't even know. That's going to be true sons and daughters. The Lord says, woman of God, you've been like a pillar holding the family together. Not only trying to be the matriarch, but being the matriarch and trying to create the continuity. I'm hearing a lot of private conversations and a lot of things that you stood for. I see you balancing things between two sides. And I hear you saying, but I'm doing all this for y'all, but y'all not doing anything really for me. I'm making sure you're taken care of over here. I'm making sure the man of God is taken care of over here. And I'm holding all of this stuff together, and it's like I'm about to come apart. And the Lord says, you let the family go, and this thing is going to grow. I suddenly looked and saw three grandchildren. So um, there's three babies sitting here that I'm looking at. How many grandchildren you have right now? My oldest has three, and the second one, one, that's four, and my daughter is five. Good. How many of them are under the age of three? Two. Two. 
That means another one is about on the to way. to be born in April. Okay, I saw three babies under the age of three. And the Lord says, this next baby is going to have the word of the Lord in their mouth and they're going to bring the family together. But it's going to be without your speaking. There's going to be a situation that is going to come to draw things together. Now, there is going to be a church in Atlanta. There will be a church in Atlanta. There will be a church in North Carolina. There will be. But before those take off, I'm coming back to the panhandle because it's been a drought spiritually there. I see prophetic conferences and prophetic meetings. And woman of God, you're going to raise up a company of prophets. Yes. And they're going to prophesy it's going to be the school of the prophets. And I saw black and whites and Indians and Hispanic of all different nationality. I saw flags going up in this building of different nationality of prophets. It's almost like you got a prophet for different nation. But like it says, well, there's no one here from Mexico. We're, we got to create a Mexican prophet. We got to I saw I saw all these different nationalities. The school of prophets is going to take place. Now, what you thought you came here for, you're going to discover you came here for something else. And this was the thing that you sat there and talked about. Says, you know, we did not really expect all of this. And this was supposed to be about you. But there's a breakthrough that's happening in your husband. Because he thought he was just coming along for a ride. And he's hearing some things that's sitting there saying, I feel another wind coming up in me because I saw this vision 20 years ago. And the Lord says it's like Joshua and Caleb that when they got about 80, they felt the energy of what they had 40 years ago. You have come here for the stirring and came here to discover that you're not far off. Yes, the numbers have declined as the prophets have spoken. Yes, the changes have come as the prophets have spoken. But yet, the new road has been created. And you're going to stand. Man of God, you have not been a failure in your work. And you have not been a failure in your ministry. It's just that the seasons have change and embrace this change because it's getting you ready for a bigger platform. Now, uh, here, Bosha, Father, only you would do this. When you go back home, y'all are going to speak into the world of politics. And it's a world that you visited, but then stepped back from it. Y'all are going back into the world of politics. Get ready to put on your garments because you're going to be sitting at meetings. And some you'll be bored with, but you're going to be in the meetings so that you'll have ears of those that are running so that they may hear the word of the Lord. Is there someone around you trying to do something with a charter school or something? I'm getting this whole thing about charter school. Okay.
We were presented with the opportunity to have a charter school, but after having an academy for 20 years, I just did not want to do that again. Right. Was this opportunity presented about two years ago? Yes. It's still lingering in the air, but it's for you to pass it on the baton to someone else, and you become the mentor and the coach and are paid as the advisor. This is why the world, the politics, you need to go in, because the city need to know who you are. And I'm not in Tallahassee, I'm in the Panhandle. Because it's gonna pop. And they're going to ask you to sit on a board for the children. And this is where the ministry of the School of the Prophets is going to take off. And then the consultant in you is going to take on a new life as like you're going to be a prophetic consultant. Bringing directions to leaders and to people. Your, both of your lives, you've come into the circle of prophets. You've come one way. You're leaving out another. And all is going to be well. Even in terms of your health, all is going to be well. Man, I saw God touching in the lower part of your abdomen and doing something around your pancreas. Something may be regulated. And whatever this thing with the blood sugar, that situation is about to be corrected. And that is the word of the Lord. Amen. Now, um, one last thing. We say that, but there's never a last thing. Um, have you ever been ministering to someone that has had a tumor in their head somewhere? Who's that? During my women's conference, there was a lady that came from Birmingham that had a tumor, um, an inoperable tumor, and we were praying for her, and it had shrunk by 60% about a month ago after I talked with her. Because God says he's going to be performing special miracles. And that was a sign of a new beginning of the healing ministry that you're about to take on. Because you can't heal what you don't feel. And God says... 2015 is your year to have the fire of healing in your hand and in your existence, saith the Spirit of the living God. And that's the word of the Lord. Amen. I heard the Lord say that you're not regressing, but you're progressing. That this church is about to move, but it will not be regressing, it will be progressing where you have been, the enemy has sought to shoot you down, but you are as a phoenix rising from the ashes. And I feel the globe spinning under your feet where you felt, Lord, this is a pivotal time. And I don't know if I should be leaving the sheep, but this is a time the Lord said that I'm going to have you going even more, more so than you have in times past. And I'm going to build without your visible presence, but I'm going to build wealth and I'm going to build men. And I'm going to feel this sanctuary, the place of moving. I'm going to feel it, but I'm not going to feel it on your brand or your name. Mm. I'm going to feel it on my name. Yes. And all of those that have had infectious behaviors 
that has infected your heart and has infected your mind. Each time I looked at you, it looked as if the whole head was covered with sores, but with scabs. And as I looked at it on last night and tonight, the Lord said there was an infection that was created in his emotions that affected his intellect because of the things that have been aimed at him. The words that have been spoken, the things that have been aimed that was designed to break you, was designed to destroy the root of the prophetic era was designed to take out the general that was designed to take out the pioneers. But the Lord says, I'm bringing a cohesiveness yeah, there where there has been a division where the enemies tried to stop the heart and stop the heart flow and try to sever the two of you, even to take off a limb spiritually and to take off a limb emotionally where you've showed this consolidated front and you've had a face of steel. But in private, you've wept, you've cried, your nervous system started to do contortions. And the Lord says, I've had to be a tranquilizer. And even times of where you, they called it mind control, where you had to go into self self -hypno hypnosis and self-talk to validate yourself, to visualize, to see where you were going so that you wouldn't be stifled by the pressure of it. I felt as if a, a skyscraper had fallen on the both of you and it looked like no one could live as a result of all of this concrete and steel on top of them. But I began to hear a rattle in the spirit ram and began to see these two vessels come up as Phoenix rising from the ashes. You begin to soar and go to a different place where the Lord says I put great value on the heart of her emotions and various areas. I'm thinking that you're going to open that up as well and she's going to feel the freedom where the enemies tried to shut her down because of what she has gone through but I thank you for divine release in Jesus name and thank you for this spiritual father that other individuals will keep calling from other parts of the country where he was into Africa but going back even into South Africa and those that are even calling him father that will put diamonds on his finger that will bring wealth Lord, I thank you for the increase that's coming within the ministry, on television, and within the lives of this family. There will be total restoration in Jesus' name. Amen. We receive that as the word of the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Something's moving. Something's changing.